Happy Tuesday! We are here and we are doing a tutorial for our bee tumbler. We are going to make this a peekaboo. It is honestly really pretty and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Let's jump in with the sanding. Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and get our cup prepped. So if you look, you see how shiny it is? We are going to rough it up a little bit. So take your sandpaper and just go all over the cup. This is going to create a type of dust, and that is going to show where you've been and where you go. The reason we're doing this is to create a more bearable surface for the crystal act to stick to. As you're sanding your cup, make sure that you're going up to down, and then make sure you stick to the very bottom under that line, and then also get the bottom of the cup. Those are going to be your trouble areas. So now you're going to go ahead and wash your tumbler. I know that I have seen in many posts where they say only with Dawn. I use Polymolive and it works great. Um, if you use something else, it's okay. I think they only just recommend Dove because it's the one that gets the most grease off. When you are done washing it, you are going to let it dry, completely dry. Then you are going to take a coffee filter. This is going to get rid of any dirt or debris left on the cup. We are about to paint our tumbler for the bead tumbler. So we are going to be using the spicy mustard from the Crystal Axe shop. I was trying to mix my own, but I ended up liking this color way better. So we're just going to go with it, okay? done this will definitely 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 need a second coat so we are just going to wait the hour or so you can not really tell but it is very streaky so i'm hoping to fix that on the second coat and apply a tad bit darker but i like this color it's pretty so i like how it's turning out it's good all right guys i'll be back in a bit okay guys we are about to do our second coat. How it's looking, you can't really tell, but it definitely does have some streaks. So this layer is definitely gonna be about trying to remove all of those. all applied now it has really good coverage not many streaks at all so we are going to let this dry and then after this just dries we are going to apply our glitter I'll be back our cup is fully painted it is dry I'm happy with the color I think it'll go good with the gold we have our cup we are actually going to be doing the BT glitter method this is how we're going to do this I have a gloved hand. Usually I just apply white with my finger. We are going to apply this and then I'm gonna remove the glove and then we are gonna go straight to glittering it. I did hear that extreme protection dries very fast 
and it's harder to get the glitter to stick on it and that bright tone takes a little bit longer to dry. We are going to go ahead and we are going to get started, okay? There are definitely some spots and some streaks where it did not cover enough. We are definitely going to have to do a second coat of glitter. I would say on my next coat, I'm probably going to go a little bit heavier. Now that that is glittered, we are going to give it in about four hours and then we are going to re-glitter it. Layer of BT with glitter. I gave this about four hours to dry. I'm not going to lie, it's still, I have some glitter remnants coming off, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, but we are going to find out, okay? thousand worst case scenario that'll help squash in all the loose glitter yeah i think it looks good i think the coverage looks good granted it is going to be a peekaboo so the coverage didn't need to be perfect but i'm actually very happy with it on that note we are done and i will be back next time when we go ahead and do the e6000 hey guys so we are going to be spraying our e6000 Okay, ready? I'm sorry, I really don't want to go outside. My cat is like an escape artist. And so I made the calculated decision that I was going to do it in here. Definitely a lot messier. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to wait for this to dry and then we're going to smush it. So I'll be back. Now we are going to be smushing the cup. I wanted to make sure to include this because this is the first time I've applied glitter with Bright Tone and it's actually stuck. I wanted to make sure that I did the smush step just to make sure all that glitter is really, really, really pressed in there, okay? cups I can definitely see some lines from some streaks other than that looks really good those little lines are really not that much of a concern to me only because this is going to be a peekaboo cup so I'm not I'm not too too worried about it okay perfect now we're gonna do our first layer of extreme protection
section is done. We're gonna let that dry for four hours and then we'll come back and we'll do another coat. Now that this is dried for four hours, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to do our second coat of extreme protection. I'll be back here in four hours for our third. Okay guys, we're back. It's been four hours and now we are going to do our third coat of extreme protection. We're gonna go ahead let that spin and I'll see you guys in four hours it is time for our final coat before our first sanding it actually feels really good for our fourth layer we are going to be using bright tone this is to hopefully get a little bit thicker exterior when we go into the sanding All coated we are going to leave it the four hours and then we are going to be sanding it and then doing another layer see you guys then okay guys this is going to be our first sanding we have done four layers three of extreme protection one of bright tone we are going to be sanding it completely dry and then we're gonna hit it with some more bright tone okay guys our cup is dry it feels very good I am actually really happy with the feel of it so now are we are going to be doing our fifth layer and we are going to be using bright tone we're gonna be using bright tone for the fifth sixth and seventh layer depending on how it feels after the seventh we'll either sand it again or we'll do one more layer let that dry i'll see you guys back here all right guys we are about to do our sixth layer it feels so good i'm i'm so incredibly happy with this so let's go ahead and do our next coat of bright tone go again four hours and then we are going to do our final coat before our second sanding okay guys we are back for our seventh coat we are going to be using bright tone <music> Okay guys, 
that is our seventh coat. We are all done. I'll see you in four hours to sand it. Okay, guys, our tumbler is ready for sanding. It looks very good. I'm just gonna go ahead and sand this really, really lightly, okay? We are gonna let this dry completely and then we're gonna be moving on to our vinyl stage. Okay guys, we are about to put our vinyl on our tumbler. I'm gonna say that it looks really, really good. I actually am in love with this gold color way more than I thought I was gonna be. So let's go ahead and get started. not where we want it to be but that's okay because this is just to cover it the next coat is going to be uh much thicker hopefully much more streak free so i will see you back here guys in an hour okay okay guys so we finished the first coat of ultra right now we're going to go ahead and start the second coat
Now we're all finished with that. We're gonna wait for it to dry and then we're gonna peel off our vinyl. Okay, now we're gonna start removing the vinyl from our dry cup.
going to prepare our bright tone with our surprise twist. I will be right back. Okay, so for the surprise twist, we're going to be using our gold Mika powder. And we're going to be mixing it right in with the bright tone. let this spin for four hours and then we're going to come back and we're going to see how it looks okay guys we are back and now we are going to do our second layer of the ultra right with the gold mika it looks good it definitely still looks kind of streaky so i'm hoping a second layer will really clear that up i'm also going to try not applying it oh I'm going to try, number one, applying it with the brush brush, and then applying it when it's not turning. that's it we are going to give that um, final hour and then I want to show it to you guys in the sunlight and then we will be done so all right I'll see you back it's finished it looks really good I'm happy with it isn't that beautiful that nice that gold that shine ah uh, I'm in love with it isn't it so pretty? So, this tutorial is officially finished. Thank you all. If you made it to the very end, I appreciate you. Again, go ahead and give me a like, a subscribe, and go ahead and comment what you'd love to see next week. See you then.